exploring Google Beyond Corp and Cisco's adaptive access control in cybersecurity. Please subscribe, like, and share. In the dynamic realm of cybersecurity, where threats are constantly growing, organizations are on a perpetual quest to fortify their defenses against potential breaches and unauthorized access. In this quest, two pioneering security models, Google's Beyond Corp and Cisco's adaptive access control, have emerged as formidable contenders each offering a distinct approach to navigating the complex landscape of network security. Traditionally, cybersecurity has leaned heavily on the concept of a network perimeter, a fortified boundary where external threats are kept at bay. However, this conventional approach has proven inadequate in an era marked by sophisticated cyber attacks and an increasingly mobile and remote workforce. In response to these challenges, Google's Beyond Corp challenges the status quo by introducing a fundamental change the abandonment of the traditional perimeter-based security model in favor of a zero-trust architecture. Beyond Corp's foundational principle is that trust should never be assumed, even within the confines of an organization's network. Unlike the traditional model, which relies on a predefined level of trust once a user gains access, Beyond Corp advocates for continuous verification of identity and device health. This approach ensures that every access attempt is scrutinized and authenticated, mitigating the risk of unauthorized access and lateral movement within the network. On the other side of the cybersecurity spectrum, Cisco's adaptive access control seeks to provide organizations with a dynamic defense mechanism that adapts in real time to emerging threats. This model recognizes the need for flexible access policies that respond to contextual factors, such as user behavior, location, and device health. By continually monitoring and analyzing these factors, Adaptive Access Control aims proactively adjusting access controls, enhancing the overall resilience of an organization's security posture. As we delve deeper into the nuances of these two security models, it becomes crucial to dissect their unique strengths and potential pitfalls. Beyond the technical intricacies, the implementation challenges, and the resource demands associated with each model, there lies a strategic decision for organizations which approach aligns best with their specific needs and long-term security objectives. This article aims to unravel the intricacies of Google Beyond Corp and Cisco's adaptive access control, shedding light on their respective merits and drawbacks. By examining their pros and cons, we can gain a comprehensive understanding of how these models contribute to the broader landscape of cybersecurity. We will explore the future trajectory of these technologies and consider alternative methods and technologies that play a pivotal role in advancing user protection and privacy in the ever-growing digital ecosystem. Google Beyond Corp, a fundamental change in security. Google Beyond Corp is a revolutionary security model that redefines the traditional perimeter-based approach. Unlike conventional methods that rely on network boundaries, Beyond Corp operates on the principle of zero trust, assuming that threats can emerge from within the network. It focuses on identity and device verification, ensuring that users and devices are authenticated before accessing any resources. Pros of Google Beyond Corp. Zero Trust Architecture By eliminating the inherent trust associated with traditional models, Beyond Corp minimizes the risk of unauthorized access and lateral movement within the network. Context-Aware Access Beyond Corp considers various contextual factors, such as the user's location, device health, and access patterns, to make dynamic access decisions. Device Trustworthiness It places a strong emphasis on ensuring the security posture of devices, reducing the risk of compromise. Cons of Google Beyond Corp Implementation complexity adopting Beyond Corp requires a significant shift in organizational mindset and infrastructure, which can be challenging and resource intensive. Dependency on cloud services, Beyond Corp heavily relies on cloud based services, making organizations susceptible to disruptions if there are issues with internet connectivity or cloud service availability. Cisco's Adaptive Access Control, a dynamic defense mechanism. Cisco's Adaptive Access Control is designed to provide flexible and dynamic access policies based on contextual factors. It focuses on real-time monitoring and analysis to adapt access controls dynamically, responding to changes in user behavior and potential threats. Pros of Cisco's adaptive access control. Real-time adaptability. The system continually monitors user behavior and adapts access controls based on contextual factors, responding promptly to potential threats. Integration with Cisco's security ecosystem. Adaptive access control seamlessly integrates with other Cisco security products providing a holistic approach to cybersecurity. Cons of Cisco's adaptive access control. Complexity of integration. Implementing adaptive access control might be complex, particularly for organizations with diverse IT infrastructures. Resource intensiveness. The continuous monitoring and adaptation processes can demand significant computational resources, potentially affecting system performance. Prognosis for future development. 
the future development of Google Beyond Corp and Cisco's adaptive access control holds significant promise, with both models poised to undergo refinement and adaptation in response to emerging cybersecurity challenges. As the threat landscape continues to grow, organizations are likely to witness innovative enhancements and strategic adjustments in these security paradigms. For Google Beyond Corp, the journey ahead involves addressing some challenges associated with its implementation. The complexity of transitioning from a traditional security model to a zero-trust architecture requires a careful balancing act, involving both technological and organizational shifts. Future developments may focus on streamlining the implementation process, providing more user-friendly tools, and offering comprehensive guidance to organizations undertaking this transformative journey. Advancements in automation are expected to simplify the ongoing management of Beyond Corp, ensuring that it remains a scalable and adaptive solution. Cisco's adaptive access control is also on a trajectory of evolution. The real-time adaptability that defines this model is likely to become even more responsive, leveraging artificial intelligence and machine learning to analyze and interpret user behavior with greater accuracy. As cyber threats become increasingly sophisticated, adaptive access control may incorporate more advanced threat intelligence and anomaly detection capabilities. Integration with a broader range of security ecosystems and interoperability with emerging technologies could further enhance its effectiveness. Interoperability and collaboration, a potential trend in the future development of both models, is increased interoperability and collaboration. As organizations often deploy a mix of security solutions, seamless integration between Google Beyond Corp, Cisco's adaptive access control, and other security tools can provide a unified and comprehensive defense strategy. Collaborative efforts between vendors may lead to standardized protocols and interoperable solutions, fostering a more cohesive and efficient security landscape. Global threat intelligence integration. Future developments in both models may see an increased emphasis on global threat intelligence integration. By leveraging real-time threat data from a broader ecosystem, organizations can enhance their ability proactively to identify and respond to emerging threats. This collaborative approach to the threat intelligence may involve partnerships with external cybersecurity entities, sharing anonymized data to strengthen the collective security posture. Scalability and adaptability. The scalability and adaptability of these models will remain critical considerations for future development. As organizations grow and technology landscapes grow, Beyond Corp and Adaptive Access Control must continue to offer scalable solutions that can accommodate diverse infrastructures and growing security requirements. Automation and intelligent scaling mechanisms may play a crucial role in ensuring that these models remain effective in dynamic environments. In conclusion, the prognosis for the future development of Google Beyond Corp and Cisco's adaptive access control is marked by a commitment to addressing current limitations, enhancing quality of use, and staying ahead of emerging threats. Integrating advanced technologies, increased collaboration within the cybersecurity ecosystem, and a focus on scalability are key factors that will shape the evolution of these security paradigms in the coming years. Alternative Approaches and Technologies Software Defined Perimeter, SDP SDP creates an invisible and secure network boundary, reducing the attack surface and providing granular access control. At its core, SDP is designed to create an invisible and secure network boundary, redefining how users and devices access resources. This departure from the conventional castle and moat mentality reflects a growing acknowledgement that the perimeter is no longer a reliable defense against advanced cyber threats. SDP adopts a zero-trust philosophy demanding verification and authentication at every step of the access process. Multi-factor authentication, MFA. By requiring multiple forms of authentication, MFA adds an extra layer of security. At its essence, MFA represents a departure from the single key entry approach by integrating several authentication factors. These factors fall into three primary categories. Something you know, knowledge-based, such as a password or PIN. Something you have, possession-based, such as a smartphone or security token and something you are biometric-based, such as fingerprints or facial recognition. By combining these factors, MFA creates a robust defense mechanism that significantly mitigates the risk of unauthorized access. Endpoint Detection and Response, EDR. EDR solutions focus on identifying and mitigating security threats at the endpoint level, complementing access control measures. At its core, EDR represents a departure from traditional security measures that focus primarily on perimeter defense. Instead, it shifts the spotlight to individual endpoints, recognizing them as potential points of vulnerability and compromise. By continuously monitoring and analyzing activities on these devices, EDR empowers organizations to detect and respond to malicious activities swiftly, minimizing the potential impact of a security incident. 
One of the fundamental strengths of EDR lies in its ability to provide granular visibility into endpoint activities. Traditional antivirus solutions often fall short in the face of advanced threats that employ sophisticated tactics to evade detection. EDR, in contrast, leverages advanced analytics, machine learning, and behavioral analysis to identify anomalous patterns and potential indicators of compromise. Blockchain for Identity Management Blockchain-based identity solutions enhance security by providing a decentralized and tamper-resistant identity verification process. At its core, blockchain is a distributed ledger technology that ensures immutability and transparency through a decentralized network of nodes. Applied to identity management, it revolutionizes the way identity data is stored, verified, and accessed. Instead of relying on a single central authority, blockchain distributes the verification process across a network of nodes, eliminating the single point of failure inherent to centralized systems. One of the hallmark features of blockchain-based identity management is its emphasis on user-centric control. Individuals become the custodians of their own identity information, storing it in a secure and encrypted manner on the blockchain. This fundamental change gives users greater agency over who can access their data and under what circumstances minimizing the risks associated with large-scale data breaches and unauthorized access. Blockchain records are immutable, so once in the ledger is added identity information, it cannot be changed or tampered retroactively. This not only enhances the integrity of identity data, but also provides a verifiable and auditable trail of any changes or access to the information. Trust, a cornerstone of identity verification, is forged through the inherent security and transparency of the blockchain. Conclusion. In pursuing robust cybersecurity, organizations must carefully weigh the advantages and disadvantages of models like Google Beyond Corp and Cisco's adaptive access control. The future holds promise of refinement and adaptation for both models. But alternative approaches such as SDP, MFA, EDR, and blockchain-based identity management offer additional layers of defense. In a rapidly growing threat landscape, a combination of these technologies may prove to be the key to comprehensive user protection and privacy. Please subscribe, like, and share. Thank you for watching.